so this next lesson, we're going to take a look at how to create contingency orders. Now, the system is pretty basic. The click chart to buy button uh, will place a long position order, either a buy limit or a buy stop. The click chart to sell button does the exact same thing, except now it's going to create that as a short order. The bracket order button gives us the ability to combine both of those items together and we'll take a look at how to do that in this lesson as well. So let's say that the market is going up and we're, we're going to get in, take advantage of the rise of that market. We're going to click chart to buy. Hover your mouse cursor over the chart window at or about where you think you might want that price to be. And if you're not quite perfect, that's okay. I'm going to show you how you can go in and edit. The order now perfectly placed, so it's a click chart process. Again, we're simply clicking on the button to activate the tool that we want to use, and then we're going to click the chart where we're going to place the order. So let's take a look at, let's say, creating a sell order as well. So we think the market may go down. We're going to click chart to sell this time, place the mouse cursor over the chart window. That's going to place the order on the chart. But if I go back and left mouse click the arrowhead of the marker, I can then change the value and then resubmit the order. So I don't have to be precise. If I make a mistake, we can go back and correct that. So once we place the orders on the chart, they're also not written in stone. We can move those orders. And when we move those orders, I'm simply clicking on the arrowhead of the order, holding down the left mouse button, and dragging that order to a new price. Now again, we could also just simply click on the arrowhead. Now if we take advantage of the bracket order button, it's pretty much going to allow us to create uh, either a bracket buy or a bracket sell or a combination of a bracket buy and a bracket sell. Uh, and it's going to attach for us an important feature called the OCO, order cancel order. So we're going to use the bracket order button in the same way that we use the click chart to buy or click chart to sell. However, this time, we're just simply going to click where we want the buy to appear or where we want the sell. And again, we'll try to get close to, if we don't get exactly, we'll come back and edit it. And we're going to create a sell. And Trade Navigator now has combined both a buy order and a sell order. So now we've created a quick bracket order uh, attached to our buy and sell. Now, as we mentioned, if we go back and left mouse click on the arrowhead of that particular order, we can adjust the order type. Uh, we can change the price. We can go down and modify some of the trigger conditions, such as the OCO trigger by order or trigger by condition. So we can play around with a lot of now the special or advanced settings of that particular order. But again, remember this is not or we don't uh, end the order here. If we want to make some changes to it, this is the time to do it before the order is filled.